Okay, welcome back to the fourth video in the uh, series. So now we're going to look at adding a little bit more functionality. We're going to add some music in there and we're going to allow you to actually go to a new level. So let's get into it. Okay, so it's actually not a lot of code to get this done. It's quite, it's quite easy. So we'll start off with music. So I'll just put music stuff. Um, just ignore that. Don't need that anymore. Um, so we've got some more variables. So we're gonna have background music. We're gonna have a coin sound. Um, I think as well. Good idea to add, let's put some scoring in as well. And then <clears throat> I think I've already called my thing tile map. So we've already got tile map. So I don't need that anymore. But we are gonna need that to change the level. So. I've got some sounds again, open game art, really good. So I've got uh, background music, so I've got bg.mp3, and I've got coin.wav. So what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and load those in. So I'll do it at the bottom so it's separate. So I'll just put loading sounds in. So we've got, we've got the background music equals load sound bg.mp3. So it's that loaded in, and then we've got coin sound equals load sound, which is coin dot wav. Okay, so that's our sounds. Pretty easy on that front. Um, so I need to get it so that it actually um, plays. So we've already got this bit in here, so we can already get this part done easily. We can just do coin sound dot play like that so that's that sorted and we can even at this point put in our scoffs equals one because that's nice and easy and then we've got a little bit of code in here when the when the game starts okay so what we need to do is nice easy one so while we're playing if not background music dot playing Basically, we're checking if it's not already playing because otherwise it, it'll play it over and over again, which doesn't sound great. Um, it'll actually crash your game a little bit. So, if it's not playing, it'll play it. And then that's pretty much it. Come on, the start screen. I just want to do background music dot stop so it doesn't play it at the start. Um, and when I press space, I'm just going to do, I don't know if I actually need to have this bit here, but I'm just going to see if it works without it. It'll save us a bit of code, won't it? So, nope, works. So I'm going to close that, but I don't know if you can hear, but it is playing the sound. Um, you won't be able to hear it through my headset. Um, so that is our music started. Uh, when I touch the coins and things, it works. Um, if I just do just mess around with some settings here just make sure you can see everything let's just see if it works you can hear the actual sound it's a bit loud so that's that working absolutely fine a little bit loud probably i'm gonna guess anyway um i'm not really use my desktop sounds in anything like that um so yeah, so that's, that's actually most of the sound stuff working. Um, so I suppose the next thing we need to do is to actually get it so we can see our uh, score and things. So after our background, just put a fill zero. We're going to put in a text size. Let's just put it to 10. And we'll draw some text, which is going to be um, coins plus our score. Probably should call it score. We'll do that at 5 and 15 so we can see it on the screen at all times. That's the score should now uh, display. So there we go, we've got coins there undefined. So all we've got to do is just do equals zero and collect a coin, it'll play the sound and it should. Coins one. So that's worked absolutely fine. So that's good. I'm just going to stop it because I don't want to keep hearing the music. Um, so yeah, so 
Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add in like a door or something like that that we can go to the next level with. So, in my tile map, right at the top, let's just make sure it's nice and line so we can see it all. I'm just going to put in an X for a door, and then I'm going to make a new sprite for the door. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to copy it across because it's it's nothing new at all. So I'm just going to bang that in there. So we've got door is new group. We've got width and height. We've got the tile. All that stuff's all, all absolutely fine. And then all we do now is add in what happens when the player touches it. So player dot overlaps with the door, and then we've got the player and the door. And then we're going to call a function and we have made yet called level two. At that point we play a sound when we get to a door as well, possibly if I get one. And then right at the bottom, we just do function level two. And then all we're going to do is we're going to nick this because this doesn't really, well, it's just, Gets us, we already know how to reset, so what's the point in rewriting the code twice? And then all we're going to do is take our tile map. We're going to do tile map dot remove, so tile map dot remove like that, and then tile map equals new tiles, and then we'll just make it slightly different. Um, in fact, I have got a nice tile set that's completely different, just to let us check that it's the same. So you see, it's just nothing. Anywhere else, a couple of coins, a floor, that's about it. Um, so we can see if that goes ahead and works as it's supposed to. So let's just check. I'm sure there'll be some sort of error or mistake that I've done. Um, 263. Got an actual one of them. So we've got another error somewhere. Door image is not defined. Is that because I haven't actually put the door in there? Have I got door image? I haven't even loaded the picture, have I? Um, so door image equals load image door.png. Have I got that somewhere? I don't know if I've already put it on. So I've got door.png here. And then door image. So we're flying ahead, forgetting some of the basics. So there's our game. I right, dive straight away, that's really good. Obviously, we can just change this now so it's not an insane amount of jumping. And maybe just increase. The jump so it's a little bit higher if we're touching. Um, we'll have a look at the grass over this minus three. But it looks like it's wet, so we've got new level that we can play. We've got it's a little bit better. I think maybe it needs to be a little bit more inside the grass as well. So it seems to be a little bit. A bit rubbish. I can't even get out the grass. But I like the idea that you can put in some right. So that should be quite high. That's not jumping very much at all. Hmm. Is there something weird with that? Because that should be the same amount of jump whether I'm touching that or not. So clearly there's something to do with the friction, I think, there. But that seems to have fixed it. I've touched that, 
uh, respawn into my next level. Obviously, I could have some sort of transition on there. Now you can see it's a different level because the tiles are different. It's unfinished. And that's it. So, in 12 minutes, we've managed to add in some sounds. We've managed to add in some sort of level completion. And we've also managed to stick in some uh, transitions to a new level. So, we're 90% there with the full game. I think the only thing we're missing, really, is some form of enemy and a little bit about level design. So, I'll save that for a later video. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.